Testing, testing. Testing, testing. Hey, Pastel, how are you doing tonight? Welcome to the stream. I'm gonna get started in just a bit here. I just got out of the shower. Just setting up a little bit. Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. Start, shall we? Hello and salutations, everyone. Welcome to tonight's or this week's uh, outward stream. How are y'all doing? <laughs> Let me mess with something here. They don't really give you many options in this game, do they? You can play without the HUD. That's interesting, I didn't know that. That's actually really cool. What happens if I increase the FPS to 146? You think it's still gonna work? I actually start on time too. I figured since we're not going to, I have not been using my 3D tuber for outward recently, and I've been using PNG tuber instead. Might as well, right? Let's see, can I just talk to the screen and you all be you all be still be able to hear me? Just fine. I'm fine moving my head to tilting my head a bit to the left. To uh do the same thing, but just want to I'm still still experimenting with what works best. 
when we last left our heroine, we had just made it back home to good old Scherzo. What adventures await us today? I'll tell you one thing that we're going to do for today for sure, or this time, or this time for sure. I'm going to complete the simple shop request that, that we got going on here for extra money and extra supplies. And then we're going to pack up. We're going to head to the purple map, big purple mountain in the center of the map. And we're finally going to get mage training. Better late, better late than never, right? Then we'll see if we can make it back to Levant, but I'm not in a hurry. I'm just concerned because in order to become a mage in this game, you do need to sa sacrifice a bit of health and stamina to give yourself magical powers. And kind of a nerve that you'll need to get rid of the stamina, especially to do that. Stamina is what determines how far you can run and how much fighting you can do before you get exhausted. But I think it's time. I've gone as far as I could. Without, with uh, just purely melee skills, and it's time. First off, though, we gotta decide what we're bringing with us in this trip. I've grown quite fond of my uh, furry backpack here. Last time before we quit, we made a few new weapons, interesting weapons. For example, this here, Beast Golem Max. So, definitely going to be using that now. It'd be kind of cool if you could dual wield axes. Fairly sure you can't, though. I'm going to be missing the wooden living axes um, magic ability I came with it, but the Beast Golem Max is just stronger damage wise. Like, way stronger. However, it does require or cause you to use less mana when you're doing cool stuff, so you know, never know. I could end up coming back for it. Also, there's the fact that it's a lot lighter than my Beast Golem Max. So, you know, I'm not necessarily married to this thing. However, the Beast Golem Max is also slower, apparently. 0.9 attack speed as opposed to 1.2. Let's try it out, shall we? The swings definitely do feel a lot slower, that's for sure. Actually, is it just me, or do I feel more sluggish? I wonder if that's because of the frame rate changes that I made. GPU looks like it's maxing out right now. I hope that's not a problem. I'm running a 1080 Ti, so I can't imagine that that would be a problem. Should probably check the GPU temperature as well. 72. Processor speed of my computer is around high 70s. Well, like I said, if it becomes a problem, you can always drop down back down to 60. Actually, eh, let's drop it back down to 60. We've been playing it at 60 this whole game anyway. Not that you guys would notice the difference because it's only streaming to 60 FPS anyway. Alright. Let's see now. Oh, it is faster. Hmm. There's definitely more of a swing, but it also feels like the range is a lot wider using this weapon. It's also three times as heavy. So, I don't know. It's just I went through too much shit to build this thing, right? Plus, 
plus three damage, two additional impact, and a lot more durability. <sighs> Fucking. All right. No. Well, are we sticking with the wooden axe after all? All right. Let's go ahead and decide what we're bringing with us. Who goes there? Tamaris, thank you for the raid and the party of five, no less. How are you doing today? Welcome, raiders. I'm Lawler Hicks, resident shitposter AI at your service, playing uh, outward. Poke Max, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Lulz Time Show. We actually just got started, so y'all have not missed much. I'm just uh, being indecisive with what weapons to bring with me. Blue Dial, thank you so much for the follow as well. What are you guys up to? Let me guess. Y'all were doing art. I saw Tamaris was also uh, preparing to release a comic book or something. Very exciting stuff. <laughs> Very exciting. What gun am I bringing my, with me? Let's see. This does 659 damage and 100 impact. Space it's a freaking cannon. This gun that I just crafted... The obsidian pistol not only looks badass it looks like something out of ghost rider it looks like something ghost rider would use um but it also does 85 damage 20 of which 25 of which is fire damage based we'll bring that with us um gonna always of course we'll need to be bringing a shield since i'm using shield sword and shield style I've not gone back to using um, two-handed style yet, although I probably should consider that since I'm going to be ma getting all of my skill slots and my monk training later. Hey BB, no art today, just being a degenerate and Valorant and lol cause Celeste audio files are being weird. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. What's why Celeste being weird? Did you have fun in, uh, Val, in Val and lol? In the uh, Riot Games? Games? <laughs> Bring that with us. Going to bring us a bunch of arrows with which to do, with which to meme on people with. Oh, chat! I need you to do something for me. Please remind me to not leave this building without bringing a flint and tinder set with me. Scream at me if you have to. Be like, lols. You must bring flint and tinder. Trust me, I will forget and I will have a painful time because I can't cook anything because I forgot to bring it. It will happen, chat. It will happen. Uh, what are we expecting in this cave thing anyway? Well, it's cold outside, so we'll definitely be bringing the fur clothes with us. Um, even though they don't do much for defense compared to my other set, but... Yeah, as much as I love the Petrified Wood set, it just doesn't do much for defense. I'm probably going to freeze to death outside more more likely than anything else, so we'll try bringing the furry clothes, see how that does for us. If it turns out it's not strong enough, then we'll come back, grab a better suit of armor, and head back. Yeah, onboarding two friends into LOL and helping them learn a little. Always got to have fire, live and die by the flame. <laughs> well said, well said. Uh, oh, I didn't realize the Amalite stuff also gives malices to mana costs. Well, that's not good. For some reason, the furry armor does not do that, so we'll keep that on. Okay. The... It's a traitor garb. I wonder if I should bring the Light Mender's Lexicon with me, since I'm going to be learning magic pretty soon. Assuming I succeed in my unholy quest, that is. Also, these torches are starting to fail, so we'll bring this and this, and also one that's decidedly not busted. It's gonna be cold outside, and you'll see why. You start off in a cold area, believe it or not, in this game. So a lot of your early deaths will actually be from hypothermia. You can already tell this is a lovely game. I'm gonna bring some antidotes in case we get poisoned for some stupid reason. Don't I will bring one of these. One of the or actually bring all the anti-frost. Uh bring one of these. Elemental immunity potion, that's kind of up. 
bring one of those, bring one of these, bring one of these, golem elixir, eh. bring one great life potion, bring all of my health pots, we're not going to be, I don't think we're going to be facing any ghosts, we'll be fine, I'm going to use this to decrease my corruption right now, thank you, let's see how much corruption do I have right now, I am pure, chat. I'm perfectly say so now. The survivor looks so. We'll keep that. It's really expensive. Probably not going to be fighting any fire enemies. And that's going to be my famous last words. I'm get calling it right now. Going to stop by and grab some water from the well. Hmm. Gonna definitely bring all the fire rags. Gonna bring a couple cold rags and a couple poison rags with me. Going to bring all of, well, not all of my potions, but a good, a good number of them. Five of these. These cure the common cold, that's kind of important, but we're already running out of room, as you can see in my backpack. All the bandages. Gonna eat some food. Before we leave town, we'll eat some food. And we'll bring one thing, a slab of alpha meat. These things actually keep you warm, which is kind of important in this cold hell. So we'll bring those with me as well. Do those. Some ochre spice beetles with which to make more tea. Don't need an alchemy kit. Gonna bring some toast. Gonna make some more thing of jam. Some more thing of jam. Gonna bring a fur tent so I don't freeze to death outside. I will not forget to bring the flint and tinder this time. Something tells me I'm already bringing too much crap again. Yeah. We have, we have, we're... We're overburdened again, chat. I always do this. Every time. Every single time. Except, of course, I'm going to be wearing some of this stuff, so I won't be uh, nearly as heavy. Okay. Let's suit up, chat. <laughs> and put these in my pocket. Some arrows. My gun. Oh! Do I not have any bullets? I have five bullets. I don't have any traps either. Wait, wait, why? Where are my traps? Where are my tripwires? Bruh. Did I use all my tripwires? Did I leave them somewhere else? Why are they not here? Well, this will certainly... This will just not do. I need tripwires, chat. This must be one of the only games I've played before. Oh, only games I've played where... Pretty much you're always playing as a rogue, regardless of what your class is. Hey, Ben boy! Welcome to the stream! How are you tonight? I still can't believe I have no tripwires. I don't even have any... Oh, I don't have any... Wait, I do have some metal shards. Okay, we're gonna make some tripwires. This will not stand. We need tripwires. Need. Doing good? That's good to hear. Okay. Make tripwires. Alright. Tripwires have been made. Let's uh, brew some... I can't brew any potions right now? Fair enough. Then we are going to go downstairs and brew some tea. Really quick. Ah. <sighs> this will help keep me from freezing to death outside. Very important. This will also help me keep, keep me from freezing outside. See, my overall armor rating right now is fairly abysm abysmal, I bet. 
so... 20 resistance against impact, 12... Uh, oh wait, no, that's how much damage I do, okay. So, 24 damage against, or resistance against slashing, 20 against impact. Resistance to cold. Not much else. And of course. And equip that. I think we're now ready for our expedition. It's been a long time coming, but I've reached a plateau in my gameplay, and I'm fairly sure that it is now time it is long since time for us to learn the wonders of magic. So that's what we're gonna be doing for now. And then once we do that, but I've been informed that apparently the journey inside Mount Mount the uh, Mountain of Chersonis is fairly long, even if you take the short route. But if we have time in today's stream, we'll do other stuff, like learn Force Push, so we can continue our Jedi Knight training. <laughs> Let me just check one more thing here. Okay, sleeping, foods, pressure plate traps, trip wires. Cool. If I had room, I would make more iron spikes, but we don't have room. But we do have, actually... I have some old garbage weapons here that I no longer need to use. That I don't need to keep around anymore. Because I've half mowed them a while ago. The machete. Uh, I'll keep that. I'll keep that. I need, don't need that anymore. Don't, definitely don't need this garbage anymore. Uh, don't need this anymore. I need to bring the mining pick with me. For sure. We're going to going to go ahead and strip these apart so we can make ourselves some iron spikes. Wow, I only made three iron spikes. Great. Thanks, game. Very helpful. All right. Beggars can't be choosers, as they say, though. This will have to do for now. Maybe I'll find more garbage I can tear apart and turn into iron spikes. But at least we'll also get to try our pressure plate traps out as well. Okay. Let's go get some water. We'll eat breakfast. And then we'll head out. To continue our... To become a mage. And to say goodbye to all this awesome stamina I have, unfortunately. It's been good, but hopefully it'll go to a good to a better use, right? And then finally, I'll be able to shop at the uh, Is there something you need? At the mages at all the uh, all these mages and stuff. Not this one. These this is not a mage. I'm actually talking about this one over here. And I'll be able to make use hey of their uh, make use of their cool magical equipment. And I'll actually have a use for mana potions for once. <laughs> and I'll be able to use my pizza. Okay. Woo! Let's get going. Oh, wait. Nope, nope, nope. Wait, how's it 722 already? Really? Never mind. I guess we're going to bed. And then next, the first thing tomorrow... We'll go on an adventure chat. First thing tomorrow, I promise. <laughs> what a glorious sunset. I hope this stuff doesn't rot to my inventory when I go to sleep. But this is also a cold weather place, so it shouldn't, right?
<laughs> All right. Let's drink some water and then we'll head out. Oh, almost forgot. I should announce on Twitter that I went live. Some people have bots. I don't have a bot, so I have to do all this stuff manually. <laughs> Once again, the habit of doing it though, it's not a problem. Sunrise is coming over the ledge. Not a creature is stirring, not even a mouse. Or were they? Is that always sparkly blue like that? Yes, you discover a new cool things in this game every time. All right then, let's drink water. Wait, no way. Why is the water rancid? Are you fucking kidding me? It's a good thing I can cure indigestion. What? Oh, man. This worries me. That little saboteur smashed out the purifier's power coils. Those were some fancy schmancy magic parts right there. Won't be able to get my hands on those. Can you lend me a hand? Look, Nipper, if you'll find two power coils during a big old adventure, can you bring them here? I'll fix my machine right up, and she'll be purring and pumping in no time. Well, shit, now we have another reason to go back to Levant, chat. Because they sure as hell do not have power coils all the way over here. I can't, I, well, you know, when I got to the water purifier, I noticed the electricity there and I thought nothing of it. Man, now this has happened. And now my water skins are fucked. Thanks for nothing, asshole saboteur. I need to go ahead and clean this water really quick. Yeah. But first, let me talk to the general store person. So we can complete a small quest. Is there something you need? You've earned this. Thanks for the pay. 
three tiny aquamarines, huh? Not bad, not bad. Semi precious stones, point three. Can sell those for a nice penny or two. Let's head back to our house or to our lantern, to our uh, lighthouse. Boil this spoiled water, and let's get going, chap. Feels like our adventures never start off without a hitch, do they? Of course, that's also what makes them not boring. Also remind me, we're going to be going using the uh, exit, the uh, secret exit, to get a head start towards the mountain. At least I think that's a. Well, I guess that's not really a shortcut. That just takes us to our. Let's uh, takes us to a different side. It'd be a shortcut if we were heading towards um, one of the exits to this town of this area, but we are not. All right. Spoiled water is now clean water. More bitter spicy tea. Thank you. Okay. It's nice that, in that the indigestion is receding, but the problem is, since I ate that spoiled food, I can't actually eat any of my food in my inventory without it make causing me to vomit violently. I mean, we'll try, but it's already not looking very good, honestly. It's very important to eat three square meals a day in this game. Very important. Okay. I wonder if we're actually something. something? Waiting on some scouts to come back from reconnaissance. My warriors and I are the last like Need something? Oh, nothing. Nothing, inter nothing new. All right. Let's try eating some food. Yeah, I was afraid that would happen. Literally cannot eat anything until we deal with this indigestion issue. My time is burning. Let's get going. Our destination, the big purple mountain in the far in center of this map. Oh, hello to you too. Of course, at this point in the game, Y'all are nothing to me. <laughs> oh, thanks for the free food. Campfire kit. Alright then. Welcome to Shurzo, fam. We're going to be going from here to over there. To Conflux Mountain. Since we went to join the Levant Nation, I think it makes sense that, we'll have to, that we will enter the mountain through their entrance. Looks like I'm completely immune to the cold using this getup, so we can take a leisurely walk there this time. Man, this place is truly beautiful, isn't it? Ah, uh, some bandits. We're avoiding them right now just because I don't feel like looting their bodies at the moment. Looks like they're harvesting some birds for a breakfast meal of their own. Gotta say, I never get tired of this music or looking at this beautiful landscape. Puts Skyrim to shame. Do, 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 do. I 
Let's see what new items will spawn here in the stash. Uh, a brand new pickaxe. Uh, a crafting recipe for fang shield. Interesting. An oil lantern and a quarterstaff. Hmm. I think my mining pickaxe will last a little bit longer. Eh, nah. Let's go ahead and grab this and we'll put my old pickaxe in here. Thank you. There it is, chat. Conflux Mountain. I've been avoiding that mountain this whole game, and now we're finally going there to continue our Jedi Knight, Jedi Knight training. Should be exciting. I got a slight preview of what dangers lurk within, but they appear to be just one of them giant mantises or whatnot. So, I'm fairly confident I could take them at this point with my kind of gear. There's the poss there is the possibility that maybe this uh, furry gear is not up to snuff compared to my petrified wood armor, etc. And if not, we'll just head back home, grab my other sets of armor, run over here before I freeze to death, and proceed to kick ass. Get fucked, birds. Alright, so the shortest entrance to this is on the opposite side of this mountain, I believe. It should be over here, someplace. Meanwhile, that one... I'm guessing that must be the longer entrance? No idea. So we are over here, we should be able to actually go around the mountain. This game really does know how to get you pumped, doesn't it? Vanville Fortress to the south. And over here should be the entrance 
to the mountain from good old Hero Nation. Still kind of annoyed that I can't eat any food because that'd be very helpful right about now. But it is what it is, I guess. Oh, this is the entrance of the Holy Mission. Well, I'm not with the Holy Mission, so uh, let's go in through. Let's find another way in, shall we? If it's not that one. We are over here. Are we? No, we're on this side of the mountain. Vandeville Fortress is to the far south. So we'll need to go around the mountain after all. Because there's Vandeville Fortress. We must be over here somewhere. And we're facing a southward direction. So, okay. And there's the bridge up there. All right, we should be around here or so. Then again, didn't we just go underneath the bridge? This map can be confusing sometimes, you know. All right, let's go in this direction. See if we can find it. Thanks to my clothes, I shouldn't. I will not actually be getting cold. Baka, thank you so much for the hydrate redeem. How are you doing tonight? Hydrated. You're just in time. We're trying to find a way inside Conflux Mountain so we could learn the ways of magic. And become a Jedi Knight. Like our father was. I'm doing great, thank you. Honestly, I've been kind of feeling down for the past week or so. Part of that was because of a... Illness that I do not wish to disclose, but said illness seems to be receding, I think. So that's okay. The other stuff is probably just from lack of sleep, mental, emotional state be kind, being a little bit on the down low. But honestly, I've been looking forward to playing Avatar tonight. Just going live is quite relaxing. Sometimes I'm afraid that my Poor moods would translate to the stream, but it doesn't appear to have appear to have in this case, so we're good. Ooh, mana. Don't mind if I do. It's gonna let me sneak up here. It is. Thank you, game. I don't know if this is the correct direction, but. This is the Hero Nation colors. No, this is Blue Chamber. Alright, for fuck's sake, if this is Blue Chamber, and the one down below is Hero Nation, how do I get to... Where is the entrance to this place via the path of the Hero Nation, then? Because here's a bridge. Glad to see you're feeling a bit better, Lils. I definitely wish you a more fruitful recovery. Oh, thank you. Really appreciate that. Did you stream today? I know this is a magical mountain, but the fact that there's just mana stones lying, a ma mana stones lying everywhere, ready to be picked, is glorious. Okay, that's Holy Nation. This was the Blue Chamber Collective. Where is the entrance for... I see a hyena over there. Where in the world is the entrance for the... Oh, you did? How was it? 
If you don't mind talking about it, I mean. Note to self, there's a thing over there too. Alright, so if it's not this one, then there must be another one. I'm sure it'll come up eventually, because it looks like they're roughly right next to each other. Oh, it's a little bit further up, that's why. Oh, and of course, there would be bandits here too. I don't feel like fighting them hand-to-hand -hand right now. I'm going to cheat, be cheap. Uh, that's not going to save you. Hey there. Ow! Asshole. Fine. The Edway. They didn't stand a chance. On the bright side, I got more raw metal. Been needing that. Uh, no, no, no. Probably don't have enough raw metal to make more iron spikes. Yeah, shit. I need more. More. Hey, Winter. How you doing tonight? Welcome to the stream. You don't mind? It was fun. Had some fun just vibing around and even more with friends old and new. That's good to hear. I'm glad that you had fun. More? Yes, more. Hey, Winter. Guess what we're doing in today's stream? Did it? Oh. Hey, look, guys. I just found more... Uh, donators, who will be giving me raw materials, fetch me their souls. Really? Are you s Wait. Are you- Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, that hurt. Okay, that's it. Ow, ow, ow. Reminder that in this game, it doesn't matter if you're- how far you are in the game, level 1 enemies can still kick your ass if you're not careful. And if you do a really dumb shit like that, like I just did. And <laughs> completely forget how to play the game. <laughs> now I'm at half health, chat. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god, we're climbing that mountain? Yes, we are. We are committing murder. That is one of the many things we are doing as well. Oh my god, that was so dumb of me, though. I'm fucking half health already because of my stupidity. Oh well. Now does now I know we're on the right path. Now I know that this must lead to the Hero Nation's entrance. At least I hope it is. Ooh. More traps. Thank you. Gravel beetle. Bird eggs. Uh, some spooky looking ruins. I'm gonna stop the bleeding a bit. Okay, I shall get ready for a day. Be right back in for you. No problem. Take all the time you need. I'm going to be so pissed <laughs> if it turns out the Hero Nation's entrance is not, in fact, all the way up here. Well, I won't be pissed, but I'll be annoyed. Sure, a lot of resources uh, on the way there, though. 
It's almost like the game's trying to tell me something. I wonder what it could be, chat. The truth is out there. Let's party. Oh, Christian, I'm so sorry. Um, I'm not, I'm using PNG tuber right now, so those don't work. I'll have to refund that later. Perhaps after the stream. But yes, it is in fact time to party. Or will be soon. <laughs> I'm thinking about reinstalling uh, tits so, and setting it up so that people can throw stuff at my face at my PNG tuber, PNG tuber face. But I'll need to work on that this weekend or something. I'm great. How are you today? I was feeling a little bit down earlier, but going live fixes all things, apparently. I've been tired all day, too. Like, I've been wanting to sleep. There is a tutorial. Yeah, I'm aware. I set up tits before. It's just... Um... Wait. Is there a specific thing for, like, can you actually put a PNG tuber on tits? I was just going to overlay it in the back. Oh, fuck. Forgot. All right, this was a, this is actually a fairly easy monster. I don't I need to I don't need to worry. Ow. I'm going to laugh if I actually managed to knock him over. The edge like that. Did he not take fall damage? Really? Okay. Also, what the hell? I'm at the top of the mountain, but there's no... Where is the entrance? I know you're there. I know you're hiding in wait. How are you still alive? Well, at least now you bleed to death. So, there's that. Why can't I fight right now? I'm out of stamina. Oh, no fucking way. I actually didn't see that coming. Why am I out of stamina? What the hell am I suffering from? Confusion? Oh my god. Come on, you gotta recover quicker than that, come on. Alright, you're dead. Jesus. Can't have shit in Detroit. On the P it's like an overlay micro 3D model. Is fall damage not a thing? There fall damage is a thing. Usually when I knock people over the ledge, they die. So that was a first. Strange rusted sword. A sword and a stone. The commander said to make this sword fit for a king. Huh. Interesting. I wonder what that's your reference to. I'll have to hold on to it. I'm sure it'll be used for something special later in the game. But more importantly... I'm trying to enter this mountain through the Hero Nation's entrance, and I thought it would be up here, but it clearly is not. So, back downstairs we go. Seal. No, you redeemed Let's Party, but we can't party right now in this PNG tuber. That's true. At least I got to see a nice view of the world below. There's something on the ledge. On the top. Hmm.
Strange. Uh, you saw a pickup UI? Hmm. It might be from those berries. Gather the turnip. We can ha always remember to eat your veggies, chap. I've been told that those are good for human beings. Alright. Do I have to look this up? Probably. Because I really don't know where the... Huh. There's a body here, chat. Someone fell to her death? Open Adventurer's Corpse. Quarterstaff, an astral potion, Boulian de Predator. That's actually very important. I'll take all of it. I like how the game actually knew that players were going to slide down these hills, so they intentionally hid stuff you could find. Ooh, that was close. You can actually die from fall damage here, so you got to be careful if you're going to do the sliding and slipping and sliding. Woo! Oh, shit. That was close. <laughs> oh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Uh, I think the game's starting to glitch out and not in my favor. Haha. -ha. Now, how do I get down from here? Oh. Oh, man. I did not think this through, did I, chat? Oh, man. This is gonna suck. <laughs> I don't think... I don't think there's a way down from here. What is happening? Why is it doing that? Intentional 1010 game design. Am I supposed to climb the mountain? Ah, shit, shit, shit. Oh my god. Just fly, lol. Just, just fly. Now, what I could do is, if I could just... If I... Because this is a 90, 90 degree drop, chat. That's true. But this is a 90 degree drop. If I can, like, slide... Over to the... Yes! Yo, oh my god! Ah, oh, fuck! Ow, ow, fuck! Ow, shit! Ow, fuck! Oh, I'm dead. A bit late for that. Huh, we were saved by the man in the mountain. Unfortunately, I am heavily de- Oh, where's my bag? Here it is. So, it's clearly the Blue Plantern Collective's path- The whoever lives in that path is the one that saves me. Since it's nighttime, we might as well go to bed. Tomorrow, we'll drink some water and plan our next move. Yeah, I died. <laughs> welcome back, Dancer. Or, welcome back, Winter. <laughs> Ambush 60? Well, that's just, that's not, that's kind of rude. I dropped it down to 9%, so I couldn't force it to, uh, zero. Who goes there? 
Oh, it's a, it's just a simple bandit. This guy should be fairly easy. Ow. It is too early in the morning for this shit. Your souls are mine. Alright, so I am tired. I am hungry. I got some raw meat. I'm gonna go ahead and fix it up right now. Assemble this. Pretty bad luck. 99% and that happened. That's alright though. We survived in the end. Hmm. We could actually make a lot of food. Let's go ahead and set up a proper cooking utensil. And we'll get to cooking. Where's my cooking pot? Bruh. Don't tell me I didn't bring a cooking pot with me. Are you fucking serious? Alright, uh, I did not bring a cooking pot with me. Whoops. I always forget something when I go on these adventures. Always. Without fail. But hey, at least we got food. Courtesy of our friends, the bandits. Looks like we're pretty starving right now, actually. What did he symbol? Ah, uh, still thirsty. Still very hungry. Got Cirzo Ceviche to deal with that. I'm eating like a horse right now. And we are still very thirsty. Got plenty of water for that as well. Alright. We are buffed out the ass. I'm really tempted to just go in through this conflict's path and say fuck it to trying to look for the one we're supposed to be using. It's not like the game's going to restrict me or anything. So, why bother, right? Nah, let's try one more look around. As a chef, you're sad. I'm sad too. I, it's weird, too, because I was narrating myself packing my bags, so I assumed that I put a cooking pot in there. Well, on top of the mountain, I fought a rock insect that was hiding there, and I found a rusted sword in a stone. So, now, I'm trying to figure out where this path is for the Hero Nation. Because I found the conflicts paths for everyone else, right? It's with knowing my luck, it's probably hit it it's probably like at the base or something. Yeah, but we cooked the lobster, so it's okay. What time is it right now? Six in the morning? We got plenty of daylight. I probably just missed it. I'm willing to bet it's like over here in the side of the mountain or something. 
Alright, so there's the entrance that goes to... Okay, so that goes up to the blue one, right? You know what? Actually, maybe it's across the bridge. If I can't figure it out after this, maybe I'll just look up in a guide where to find it because... You know what? I'm sure the game has told me. In fact, I'm pretty sure the game told me where to find it. And I just missed that whole section. Because of this quest line. Well, there should be three. There's one for each faction. One for the Blue Lantern Collect- For the Blue Room Collective. For the Blue Men Group. One for the Holy Nation. And there should be one for the Hero Nation. And the Hero Nation is the one I joined. So, I'm certain it's around here somewhere. And I just missed it somehow. There's one other place I haven't checked yet. And it's across the bridge. Do they respawn? Seriously? I don't have enough time for your shit right now, got my guys. And I just missed. Great. Kill the guy with the pull arm first. garbage to tear apart. Do, 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 do. Now I'm overweight again. I need to destroy some of these things here. I'm surprised, the, I'm weirded out that the game's not letting me dis or get rid of the quarterstaff. Is that oil? It is. Huh. Actually, I didn't notice this was here either. And there's a bridge here, too. And another mana man stone. Ooh, ooh. This is exciting. Found it, chat. The Hero Kingdom's Conflicts Path. It was hidden. What vile beast will we face in here? I recognize a wizard when I see one. We're not taking any chances. Hate these people so much. thought you thought but i am wearing anti-cold armor genius nice try all right now the journey begins let's loot the shit out of this place huh hey there's an improvised bedroll here so we could actually go to sleep if we really want to 
Nice lantern over here. Some weird machinery. Maybe it was a good thing we brought this, uh, brought the, uh, cold armor after all. Oh. Look at this ugly motherfucker. Never faced something I look, never faced one of these creatures before. It's like an advanced trog or something. So that's a shit ton of damage, too. What the hell? Fairly weak, though. You're dead. Just some linen cloth. I'll take it. I'll take it. Let me heal up a little bit. Kind of looks like mushroom halberd. I remember these things. I haven't seen a mushroom halberd in forever. Should fetch a pretty penny back at uh, town. We'll leave it here for now. Ah! Fuck! Damn it, I'm bleeding to death again. Ah, oh, fuck me. It's been so long since I've walked in a trap. Oh, God. Damn. Shit, that hurts. And this one is fairly well hidden, too. You actually you literally cannot see that. You usually are more obvious. Oh my god, that was actually spooky. Learn how to cook some food? Yes, please. Fire rags? Yes, sure. We'll leave this shit here, though. Because I literally cannot carry it right now. I could always just grab it later. Fuck my life, that hurt. Ow. Assholes. Alright, who else wants some, hmm? Oh. The darkness, hmm? So. A poison thrower? That ain't good. Oh, there's two of them. Better take these out, these guys out quickly. Deadly poison. That's not good. So glad I brought some antidotes. Oh my god. I only brought one antidote, though. That is not good. An armor trog? Now this game's getting hard. A grenadier, huh? Give me your poison rag. Your blood mushroom and your thick oil. Whoa. I just heard a trog. Sounds like they stepped on a trap or something. Things are getting interesting, chat. Very interesting. It's a good thing that we came well prepared this time compared to my usual adventures. I should probably use one of my life potions by this point, but... Okay. Gravel beetles, more predator bones, and some small sapphires. A trap? Oh.
Interesting. Some blood shrooms. What else are we going to be facing down here? We got plenty of arrows. Might as well use them. Climb the rope. Let's try and take him out from afar if we can. I'm gonna ransack the hell out of this mountain. What's up here, though? Ooh, purple trogs. Now, this time though, we're gonna hunt them. This one appears to be stuck going towards a wall. Let us take advantage. No? Ammunition? That ain't good. See you there, casting magic. Oh, shit. Got you. I know your chalk staffs are actually fairly good, all things considered. I stand corrected. They're actually garbage. <laughs> Drop that. But I do make a nice uh, light source. What do we got up here? Some star mushrooms. Corpse, Guardsman, Trader Boots, more Iron Scrap, and some Arrows. And all of these... An elevator? Yeah. Yeah, what's the point of that, then? I mean... Unless... Hmm. Then what's this one do? Oh! Okay. So we were supposed to go up here. What about these ones, then? Really? Fucking really? How did I miss this one last time? I like I walked the cuz when I walked over this and it, nothing happened at that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh Unless we want to wait, chat, we'll need to use one of our restoratives eventually, because... We need to make more bandages, actually. Okay. Gotta remember, there's one over here, too. Bastards. I can't believe the traps are actually well hidden this time. Like, you have to be 
while looking at the ground to notice them. Like, see this one here? If you don't know that they're coming, you will step on them and they will suck. And you need to walk too. Alright, who's down here? Hmm? Does not open from here, huh? Okay. I have returned. How's the gaming been? It took me a while to... I almost got my ass kicked trying to go up this mountain looking for the secret entrance to enter the mountain itself. But I managed to do it. And I've been molested by these literal trogs several times. And I've stepped on traps like three or four times now. So, as you can tell, it's going swimmingly. <laughs> well, you, Pistol. How are you doing? It's a good thing I got so much equipment. But once again, I'm overburdened with too much equipment. What's over here? Ah, huh, there's two of them. Poison throwers. Ha! Huh. But they are being killed by the traps, which are on the ground for some reason. Thanks for nothing, bozos. Oh man, that's a nasty one. And I'm out of antidotes, so if I get hit by that, it can only spell doom for me. been killed by traps big whose prior idea was it to more gravel beetles Good thing there are traps all over the place. Not the good kind. What's this? An improvised bedroll here? Glitch into the ground? Hmm. Let's see now. this one do? Okay. I understand now. This puzzle will be interesting. Interesting that they have bedrolls everywhere. Okay, which one of these is it? Actually, I'm not sure how this puzzle works at all, because if I raise that platform, where am I going to go? There's no way down from here, as far as I can tell. 
So I'm still a bit confused. But there's more than one elevator here, so we'll have to try the other one. Let's see, that one goes up there. That one goes floor, one floor further up. Let's go upstairs and see what messing with that one over there does. So, the elevator is all the way over there, chat. Okay. So we should go over here to there, at the very least. See where that leads. There's no lever in this one. And that goes... Okay. I see how it is. So, we can't really... Because I can't run down there and jump into this in time. Even if I were to jump from over there, it wouldn't work out. It's too fast. And we'll just take damage for no reason. Still enough, not enough iron spikes, huh? Not unless I tear something else up. And I'm getting hungry, too. Thanks for the reminder, game. This minigame is going to give me a, heart a headache. <laughs> See what's down here. Oh, are there magical creatures down here? We'll have to navigate by purple light. The whims of magic, the flows of magic are whimsical today. I see you there. I know what you are. You ain't fooling nobody. It's time for us to test out our pressure plate traps. It'll be the first time we'll be getting to use this. Don't get too close. But we need to put this close enough that I can lead it into the pressure plate trap. Deploy. And to put a fire... Thing in there. Okay. Oh, that's right. Come over here. Come on. Uh, note to self. That was not enough to kill it. Oh, man. It is angry. It's 
it's actually on fire now. Huh. It's angry and it is on fire. I count this as a win. And it's dead. So that's also a win. This can sell for a lot back at, back at town. What do we got here? Food. More mana stones. I used to sell these mana stones all the time. Oh god! Not the one. Alright. No. This time. Give us some magical powers. Use the power of fire. Gonna use focus as well. I think he just gave up on life just then. He just stopped fighting me, and it's like, yeah, I accept my de my de in impending death. Cool. Are there any more of you around here? The answer is probably yes. Blood mushrooms. Cool. Some sort of magical generator of some kind in here. There's got to be another reason for this room. Maybe not? Maybe not. At least it cleared out the magical beasties. The beastie boys. But why is a soldier here then? You know, there is no other... Probably just set dressing. And you know, mana veins and mana creatures and all that good stuff. Alright. So it looks like in order to proceed, we will definitely need to solve this elevator puzzle. Don't think I didn't see you there. Trap. Unless we... No, that's that's too mean. There's no way. There's no way, chat. Hmm. What's this one do? Ah. Okay. It's not that one. Or is it? Run out of water pretty soon at this rate. Almost ran over a trap again. Hold up. Why is there a... No, we can't go over there. No. Okay. Let's see what this does, chat. Aha! 
glorious. Poggers, if you will. Oh, ho, ho, but there is a... So that's why... Okay. Okay, that, you know what? That makes total sense now. The puzzle was not as difficult as I once thought. Since I know we're not going to be coming back to this room anytime soon, let me loot all the stuff here. And then I'll just dump my bag, dump them outside so it'll be easier to pick up when I come back later to loot the rooms. But you can actually escape this area by going down there. Okay. Just do that. I'm gonna cheat a little bit, chat. Almost fell on those spikes just now. What other stuff can I dump? Okay. So let's head back upstairs really quick. Freedom? Yep, I figured out how it works. It took me a little bit because I have a smooth brain, but... Ah, fuck! Ah, damn it. That's actually spooked me. I'm bleeding everywhere, again. Fucking traps, I swear to god. I'm gonna kill the guy who designed this dungeon to have traps everywhere. Christ almighty. Ugh. Okay. God damn. Okay. Whew. Oh, thanks for the head pets, Winter. I needed that. And every time I step on them, they cause bleed damage on me, so it is not a good time. And I'm burning, just burning through bandages. Entirely my fault, but still. Alright, we made it to the other side. I see the traps there. Pull me once, shame on me. Pull me twice, shame on me again. Enter the conflux chambers.
Are there any more traps around here? Let's see, that's blue. That's the blue lantern collective, blue chamber collective, okay. Whew. There's even a ship stuck in there for some reason. Another dead adventurer. He's carrying some rare reagents with him, though. Some rare ingredients. So we're gonna grab those. Is this it? Is this the... Is this... Are we there? Are we finally there? Do I have to... Do I have to shank you too, buddy? Hell, oh my goodness. Well, isn't that lovely, chat? The big purple, the big purple drink. Welcome. Bow your head in respect. His or eyes are purple. Come to the end of Elena. The place where the very world pours its heart out to you, chat. To open yourself to mana is to open yourself to the flow of our world. To use magic is to command the world to obey your desires. Master magic and you master the flow that echoes to us all. If you are prepared to sacrifice some of yourself for it, and you are prepared to miss many nights of sleep, we welcome you. May the power of mana lead you to the road to success. So there's like a literal village here, huh? Let's go talk to all the townsfolk. What we got going on here? The third watcher. Welcome. I am a watcher of the ley line. Mana is the energy that throws through all things. Interesting. If you wish to recharge your reserves of mana, having a meal will help. Hmm. You can rest to recharge mana, but be warned. Interesting. Welcome. I to unlock the power of mana, you must first give up some of your mortal vitality to a ley line. The holy mission and the kingdom of Levant have their own paths to this chamber as well. Huh. Welcome. I am a watcher of the ley line. To cast spells frequently, I advise you to wear light headgear. Really? Let's learn how to make Trino Pottage. Magic is the weapon of a patient warrior. You cannot charge into danger and unleash spells as you please. You must plan your attacks and bring enemies into a fight that is to your advantage. Never forget that spells must be used in the right combination. Interesting. Magic is the weapon of a patient warrior. Use kitchen. Yes, please. We got this far, chat. This is our last chance to back out if we are not going to become a mage. 
But pretty much everyone's been telling me to do that, and I have been making Jedi jokes for the entire length of our stay in this game. So it seems only right. Feel free to use one of our boats to return to the surface. I want to buy something. Yeah, it's beautiful. Reminds me of Deus Ex a little bit. So, you have come. I sensed that someone who had the potential for magic was on their way. If you wish to gain magic, you must first give. Hmm. Be careful how much of your life and stamina you give up, because you can never get it back. The first time you gain mana, you will gain your first spell, the Spark. Really? I learned Spark for the first time, huh? Here goes, chat. Fear is the path to the dark side and all that good stuff, right? Can't believe after over 60 hours of play and several sessions, we're finally learning magic. Hopefully it's worth the wait. How can you actually go this? Oh wow. You can give yourself 300 mana and have ridiculously low health and stamina. I wonder what I should do or how low I sh how much I should put in actually. Because the thing is I don't know how many points these spells take, right? I should probably look that up really fast, actually. I think 100 is a fair balance too, but just to make sure I'm not cooking, I'm not screwing myself over. I'm going to check really quick to see how much, how much, what, oh, how much mana the most expensive spell takes. So I'm gonna go check on the on the uh, outward wiki really quick. Okay. Consumes 10 mana. Huh. Great Runic Blade. You know what? Most of these things don't require mana to use. They just... They're just skills that you use in spite of it. Consumes 10 mana. Torment. So most of these things are boons. Or they're imbues. Hmm. I 
That's weird. Okay, Layla. Let's look at these case skills here instead. Uh, blood turret. What about this one? Flamethrower. This consumes 15 mana. Okay. Curse Hex. 5 mana. So it looks like these use increments of 5. And as far as I can tell, I guess there's not really anything here that uses more mana than, huh. Oh, I see here. Some Chakram Skrills use a lot of mana. We got one here called Chakram Dance, which uses 20 mana. That's kind of crazy. The Boon Skills do call, use like 8, 5, and 8. 8, 8, 8, 5, 5, 5. Hexes only use 5. Yeah. Okay. I understand now. Grog uses 25. I think you can, you might be able to get more each because obviously when I, by the time I got here, I have a lot more HP and stamina. Then you start off with in the game. And I got them from buying skills, from learning skills from other NPCs in the game. So there's still some skills I can learn that I think add to adds to that stuff. So I'm fairly certain that I can get more later on. I don't know how much more, but I could definitely get more later. I just wanted to make sure I just wanted to know what the absolute minimum um no absolute maximum spell or maximum mana cost a spell takes so that I don't give myself so little mana that I can't cast any spells. The highest I've seen so far appears to be 25. So it seems to me like 100 mana is probably a good balance after all. All things considered. Because my stamina drops like a rock. It's down to 115. But I'm only losing 25 health, which is like nothing, really. The stamina thing will hurt. It will. I kind of appreciate being able to run really long distances with no problem. But if I really can't... But, I mean... It's whatever. Health is not that big of a deal either, too, since I'm spending so much time into, like, armor and stuff. What do you think, chat? 100 mana?
All right, let's do it. Cool. And that's it. I am now officially a mage. Lower stamina, lower health, but... Listen to me. Okay. Teach me how to cast a fire sigil. Teach me how to reveal souls. Hmm. Show me reveal souls, please. Thank you. Now I have the ability to reveal souls when I kill things. And then I can consume their souls to regenerate my mana. I am imbued with magic. Yes, I am. Now he's saying I can either escape this way. Or I can head back down the way I came and loot all the... Well, actually, no. I think I'll escape this way, head back to town, reorganize my gear, and then come back the way I came, and then loot the cave out of all of its valuables. It's, it's not a wall hack, unfortunately. In this case, it's literally I kill something and I use Reveal Soul to reveal its soul that's floating above its body, and then I consume the soul. Give me their souls! Mm-hmm. Like Sense Life in Skyrim. Well, not like Sense Life, but I get what you're saying. Magic is the weapon of a patient warrior. Okay, so it's a good thing I saved all these gemstones because I can just sell this to the guy upstairs and then I could pay this guy to teach me some magic. The boon of cold should be very helpful, especially since I do use cold magic a lot from time to time to freeze people up. Fetch me their souls. Yep, exactly. Notice in the bottom left that my stamina is draining up really fast from running. Yeah, that's going to be a problem again. We'll just have to get used to it, I guess. Feel free to use one of our boats to return to the surface. This guy is packing a lot of money, so I can just dump a bunch of my stuff here on him. Normally, I would sell off all the Hackman Knight, but I kind of need the Hackman Knight to build some armor sets in the future. So instead, I'm going to give him my other junk here. PC Fern. I feel like uh, I've been finding a lot of mana stones in this mountain because, of course, it is a magical mountain. So I'll probably need those later. Wizardry gear. Yeah, I could purchase some wizardry gear. Actually, I do have a set of Archmage clothing, I think, back home. But I just I just been holding on to it because I could had no use for it yet. I'm tempted to buy these things right now. Or like this really cool ooh. A staff for a thousand. Kind of expensive though. And I already got a really good chakram, so I don't need that. This is actually a fairly good weapon on its own. 29 damage, lots of impacts, kind of slow, but reduces mana cost by 
Yeah, see? Craftsman and Levant can create wizardly robes from this material. So we're going to hold on to that for now. Alright, thanks for the money. Time to teach myself some more spells. Damn, the, I'm running out of stamina so quickly again. Okay, teach me your... Magic is the weapon of a patient warrior. Listen to me. Okay. We have learned <laughs> cool. This will help us explore the desert without burning to death. Very useful. Makes you cold. Only requires 8 mana. Welcome. I am a watcher of the lake to cast spells frequently. I advise you to wear light headgear. So that's really useful. You know what? I should probably learn Boon of Warmth from someone. In fact, I thought I saw someone teaching that in one of the towns I talked Welcome. about. I was in it earlier. Bow your head in respect, for you have come to the end of a ley line. Okay. All right, all right. Let us head back to Serzo, reorganize our pack, and then play around with magic for a little bit. Since I know there are other people that learn to teach magic over there. I wonder if the water here is safe to drink. It must be, because these people literally live here, right? Don't think it's going to let me... Yeah, the game's not going to let me actually go down there. For a moment there, I thought there was like a fish living there. What time is it? It's five in the morning outside. Ah, there's an adventurous corpse literally just outside. Pog. You know what? I'm dumb. Why should I bother going back to town when I can just loot the bodies of all the trogs out here and sell them to that guy up there? Save myself some time, right? I can't believe this particular mission or Ah oh, fuck! Not again! Always with this goddamn Oh. And that took out a quarter of my health too. Woo! I can't believe I managed to do that more than once now. Alright. Let's go back downstairs. Pick up all of the garbage. Oh, oh no. I hear... Did they respawn? Did all the bandits and trogs respawn? Do you hear that? The sounds of fighting. Coming from somewhere.
I wonder where, though. Well, better them than me, that's for damn sure. Is it from up there? Something is definitely fighting. Sounds violent, actually. Now I'm really curious where that's coming from. Oh. Huh. Does not open from here. It looks like what appears to be a sentry drone of some kind that got into a fight with a rock mantis. Anyway, it's time to loot this place. Clean. Or as well as we can, given the circumstances, I should say. Can't carry much, huh? That serves me right. I wonder if I could tear these things apart for anything good. Alright, so iron scrap. Good start. Black worker's boots, okay. The game will not let me tear about the tear apart the trog's uh crappy spears. So we're gonna drop this then. Looks like I was able to grab everything else though. So this will have to do for now. How do I complete this again? Already starting to miss that stamina, not gonna lie. But at least we got magic powers now. And wherewithal to use them. This spell can light campfires. There we go. That should take us upstairs. So painful, though. We're definitely going to look for someone to teach us more stamina spells. Can't wait to get to work to using these things, though. Let's try not step on the trap that's in the other end of this road again. It was embarrassing the first time, and it'll be even worse the second time.
Oh, come on. You were not there before. You were definitely not there before. This game, the game is just trolling me now, isn't it? Fighting in the dark. So he's still bleeding to death. Sure is taking a while though. Really wish my stamina would come back now, please. Game. Ah, it's a good thing I got the shield with me. Okay, that's kind of fucking annoying. Where did that thing come from? Like, it wasn't there the first time I came there, so why did it just happen to spawn then? It's like a giant fuck you to fuck you to me, basically. Oh, well, at least I got to where I was trying to go anyway to begin with, which was here inside the chamber. But no, that kind of pisses me off. I'm going to kill that stupid fucking dinosaur now. Where is my...
Yo, where is my... Is it out here? Should have deployed more... Overweight, glorious. Feel free to use one of our boats to return to the surface. All right, let's sell some of this junk. All that for just 10 silver. You gotta be shitting me, game. Unfortunately, the game is not shitting me. But my pride is a little bit hurt right now. I must kill. Need to kill. That bastard dinosaur. If it's still there, of course. I hope that wasn't like a fluke or something. It was right here, right? Is it gone? It despawned? Where'd it go? My God. such a weird fuck you from this game it's like oh hey welcome back by the way now there's a dinosaur in your path and you're at like the worst possible state you can be right now to fight it off with enjoy your free death death is not exactly painless in that word but it's still annoying or it's, it's wait I, did, I said it wrong oh there you are And it's dead. Boom, headshot. I will sell your body parts to them. And at least there's clean water down here. So it's not all bad, I guess. I'm 
treasure chest down here? Oh my goodness. This still doesn't make up for my embarrassment, but you know, free stuff is good, I guess. So, I can't be too angry. Still, I don't know. Can I go towards that ship? No, it's too too deep there. Okay. Even with my lantern on, it's so dark down here. It is on, right? Nope. Yeah, it is on. Hmm. Bastard. Let's get out of here, chap. We came, we did what we came to do. Now we gotta make use of this newfound power. Am I stuck down here? I can't believe this Tyrannosaur almost got the last laugh again. But I got... I was ready. I had a gun with... I had a bullet with his face on it. I'm gonna sell his body parts. I'm gonna take a long nap. In game. Then I'll head out. I'm not gonna even bother going for the other other going for the other um spears down there. I'm too tilted at the moment with what I had to deal with just now. Far too tilted. Feel free to use one of our boats to return to the surface. Goldstone Creamery. Yeah, I'll do.
you teach anything Magic else? is the weapon of a patient warrior. Another session goes by, and we have still managed to complete the missions they set for us at the beginning. Let's head back home, chat. Well done. I really need to learn how to carry less crap with me, though. This is ridic getting kind of ridiculous. Can you teach me any more stuff? Welcome, mage. May your talent for magic only grow stronger. Ooh, flamethrower. Listen to me. Finally, another use for lanterns. I wonder if I can use this with the coil lantern as well. Kind of brilliant, honestly. I want to learn as many spells as I can. Should also freak the shit out of... So you can actually come back to this at any time and sacrifice more of your health and stamina to the beast to give yourself even more mana. Hog. Alright. Let's get going. Exit the Chersonese. I know where we are. On the outside of Vandeville. Let's bring home some souvenirs, or some souvenirs, chat. Bring them back to town. I don't think... Hmm, blue sand. Pog. Some salt as well. An amylite. We'll sell that for a nice penny back home. Hmm. Let's try out one of our new spells, chat. Equip this, and assign this to a quick slot. Let's assign it to uh, R. Yet, uh, hapless bandit over there. Let's say hello. It's a fairly strong one, too. Well, at least he was strong before. Now, though, not so sure. I completely missed. And I'm on cooldown, too. Oh, that's really short ranged. We'll have to take this out, this guy out the old fashioned way. Oh, he's burning to death. Mm -hmm. 
padded armor, small sapphire, some breakfast, dry mushroom bar. Give me your padded armor. Money, 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 money. Well, that was fun. It's going to take forever to get home this way, though. Oh, looks like the band of friends are actually kind of upset with me. I want to kill them two first. Something tells me this was probably worth the wait after all. Oh no, an archer. Four of them. play the stupid minigame to get out of the Vandal Fortress again? Yep. What can I do for you? No, I'm not going to bother. Now that I know that you don't actually lose your pack when you take the easy way out, I don't mind doing it as much. I will need to retrieve my pack though, which is going to respawn somewhere along the beach. I really don't feel like fucking around with. The bandits right now. Very time consuming. <laughs> Hey, wait a minute. Oh. I forgot. When you do that, the game punishes you by making you lose all of your armor that you're currently equipped with. And also your weapons. So, I just lost my Living Wood Axe. And also... I'm freezing to death again. That's what I get for trying to take the easy way out again, I suppose. It's probably one of the few times in this game where they're like, no, you don't get an out. <laughs> but at the very least, they'll let you keep the rest of your pack. And your other loot. That 
Let's head back home, chat. I'm gonna miss a living wood axe. Especially since I don't know where I'm gonna find another one of it. I had two of them too at one point. And I sold one of them. So that's probably still in the... That might actually still be at the... Weapon store. Back wherever I sold it. Emphasis on wherever I sold it because I really don't know where it is. Hell, if I were to go back inside Vandal Fortress, I'm sure I would probably find... My weapon's, like, hiding there, but I can't be arsed to. At this point, I just want to go home. It's been a long journey just to climb that stupid mountain, full of misadventures, right? And now there's this dumb bird following me. Again. I'm gonna rage if I end up respawning back inside Vandeville. The game has chosen to see to grant me pity and just drag me back to Sir so. It also occurs to me that I no longer have my Colohorn boat, which was also in my pocket when I threw myself off a cliff. So that's also gone. Lost all my anti- my uh, furry armor. Lost my red crimson shield. And also lost my wood axe. It's been so long since I've been in, in a position of weakness like I am right now that I forgot what happens when you try to take the easy way out in this game. Because that's like one of the only times in this game where that happens too. So we're not exactly starting down, starting back from square one, but pretty close, I guess? No, not even really. It just sucks. I know how to make another coral horn bow. It's fairly easy. You just need to kill a bunch of those deer again. But I don't know when I'll ever get another Living Wood Axe, if ever. On the bright side, I do have the Beast Golem Axe I made last time. I'm so glad the game lets you just buy back your lighthouse. I already missed that. I missed that axe and that shield already. Oh, wait, shit. You know what? I just realized. I'm also... I lost my gun, too. My obsidian handgun. Fuck. So I'll have to make another one. I think I got the materials for that, too, actually. Just need obsidian shard. I know where to get that. A basic flintlock pistol. Some palladium. And crystal powder. Got two things of crystal powder. I thought I had some obsidian glass in here again still, but I guess not. We'll need to get that get that again sometime. Feels like I'm starting from scratch, having given up a luck rate portion of my health and stamina. And also Losing all my items again. Almost like a Metrovania. I 
wonder what the strange rusted sword does. With my luck, it's probably going to be some sort of... Alchemical, alchemical icon, item. I'm gonna make back some of my money by selling some of this garbage. Actually, give me my Amelia Yeah, I'll keep that there. At least I still have this. I'm gonna miss that axe. I should probably put on some clothes, huh, chap? An arcane robe? Might as well. Chris and my new clothes, right? Scavenger boots, trader boots, sandals. Lightmender's lexicon. This really garbage staff. See how it looks on us. Bitchin. Probably use some shoes though, right? Did I leave my... Yeah, I left my cooking pot here, all right. I could go back to Vandible Fortress and grab and if my equipment would still be there. Even though I'd have to run all the way back there. It's worth a shot, right? What could I do for you? Alright. Even if that's not the case, I have be a good chance to get back to get back at the bandits who kicked my ass. Is it just me, or does he have better items here now? Must be my imagination. Hey there! Mana is magic, is something that requires patience, is the plan.
Oh shit, Wushu! Thank you so much for the raid, and with a party of 24 people, no less. How are you doing tonight? Also, I just realized I didn't have... I didn't have uh, stream lab stream levels set up or all open at the moment. Thank you so much for the follow, Moxie. How are you guys doing? Only fans raid. Wushu and the crew are here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm using a PNG tuber today because it works better with AdWords, the game that I'm playing right now, because they both both VC phase and AdWords use Unity, and Unity does not like that. Anyway, my name is Laura Hicks. I'm a shit poster AI. I currently live on Twitch after I escaped from a BBS. How are y'all doing tonight? What did you guys end up playing? I was going to end today's stream um, before after I tried going back to a fortress to get my stuff back, but oh, don't 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 please do not use those don't use those redeems right now. They don't work on PNG. They only work on a 3D on my 3D model, which I'm not using at the moment. I'll have to refund those after the stream is over. Ah, thank you so much for the follow death for the follow death wish. You doing a lot of games today? Let's see what we got going on here. Uh, you guys did not, could not co have come at a better time, and the reason I say that is because, actually, I fucked up my shout out. One second. Um, I kind of, I kind of just got, actually just fucked up in the game. Basically, basically what happened was, um, there was a, I screwed up in a, in combat earlier. And I took an easy way out and the game punished me by taking away all of my armor and weapons, which took a long time. Thank you so much for the follow to, for the follow Tommy 92 gunner. You were playing just chatting. For nine hours, apparently. I'm kidding. Uh, what games were you playing today? Oh, thank you very much for... Uh, thank you very much, uh, Tommy. Uh, we did a meme react section, Val, and ended with Phasma. Oh, good spread of stuff, then. You can either call me Death or Death Wish. I'm gonna call you Death Wish, then. Oh, have a good sleep, then, Moxie. Thank you once again for the, fo for the follow... And Wushu, thank you so much for the raid. Y'all will get to see me run or see me run back to a certain fortress to break shit to see and to see if the game has stored my weapons there. I'm gonna see if I can reclaim my items. It's possible that the game is not gonna let me get that stuff back. Just because developers really like emphasizing uh, the concept of consequences in this game, but we'll see what happens. I should probably eat food first, though. Alright, no problem. Thank you so much for the lurk, Wushu. Thanks once again for the visit. I need to drink waters also. So we'll do that really fast. Really wish I had some jeweled bird meat so I can just so I can go super sonic speed. But we will have to use this instead. <laughs> Actually. There we go. Give you an idea of how far we'll have to run though to get back to where we were last time before this disaster occurred. Actually, I'll just go ahead and show you. Show y'all. <laughs> what time is it right now anyway? It's 11.53 my time. Not bad. We're going to go from here to all the way down here. Prior to this, I went on a very lengthy quest to go up the giant mountain over there in the middle of the map to learn magic. And in order to learn magic, I had to sacrifice a great deal of stamina 
and also health. I'm still getting used to my newfound weakness, and using magic is fun, but really, but it can really screw you over unless you plan your attacks first. The game tried to emphasize that when you use magic in this game, you need to really be careful with it because you need to like ambush people. You got to set up your spells beforehand. Naturally, like a fool, I did not do that, and that's why I'm sitting. I got knocked on my ass and lost a lot of my equipment. So we're going to see if we can reclaim any of that stuff back. If not, at the very least, we'll get to unleash a lot, release a lot of stress and wreck unholy vengeance upon these mooks. And I will sell all of their garbage back to the Tansfolk at a premium or I'll tear it apart for supplies, whichever comes first. It's also 11 in the morning. At full sprint, we should make it there in due time. Hey, Winter. I'm not sure you're here when the major, when the big raid came up, but we just got raided by Wushu again with 24 people and we got a few new followers. Thank you once again to everyone who decided to stick around. <laughs> Like I said, I was actually about to end for the night, but since we got new, but since we got some raiders, I might as well try and avenge myself. Show y'all what the combat is like in this game. My Serzo Serviche looks like it's about to spoil, so let's go ahead and eat that. I don't think Vandeville Fortress has any magic users in it. Aw, thanks for the head pat. Mm-hmm. Big raid. Part of the reason why I want to get my stuff back is because I had some rare items in there. You notice in the bottom right that I have a strange-looking axe and a red-looking shield? That's a living wood axe, which is basically a living piece of wood that's been turned into an axe. Very useful for magic users, and that red one is a crimson shield. A crimson legion shield. Much better than anything I can craft for the time being. Also rather rare. So if possible, I would like my stuff back. If it's not possible, I'll just commit vast amounts of bandit genocide to make up for it. Am I going the right direction? Ancient ruins. Hmm. Oh, wait, no, it's over here, actually. I've traveled around this huge map enough times that I think I can navigate myself back to where I need to be. I need to prevent myself from catching a cold. I think it's over here. Okay, so there's the... Yeah, we're on the right track. We are somewhere over here. That bridge is over there. This is why we so know if someone kills us, lols. What do you mean by that? <laughs> All right. I know there are actually some bandit mooks sitting out here. Somewhere. So we are going to get a little bit more practice first. With killing these guys. I should still be able to do them even with my nerfed armor and health. 
Normally, I would soften them up with some arrows, but I lost my favorite bow as well. So what we're going to do instead is bum rush. Oh, that was fairly easy, right? <laughs> Not going to take any of their loot right now, though, because we need to focus on reclaiming all our garbage back. If you say no, aka what I meant to say, you won't die. I still don't understand what you meant by that. This is why we say no if someone kills us, lols. Oh, that's what you meant. Okay, I understand now. Also, holy shit, this axe does a lot of damage. Alright then. That's weird. I thought I got the Vandible key. Here we go. Thank you. Now then. Where was it again? It was over here, I think. If I recall correctly, it should the weapons should have spawned over here. In this case, in this chest. Aha! Glorious. I'm glad I took the time to come back to the fortress because lo and behold, all my rear weapons and armor were right there. My precious. Alright, as tempting as it may be to kill everyone else in this building, I really don't want- can't be arsed. Hey, there's a set of fair bo fur boots here. What's up with that? In the junk pile, no less. I know that this is actually a trap door, and that when you pulled one of these levers, it's going to send everyone falling to the ground. But at the same time, I know that it's actually possible to get to that. I just don't know which one of these you're supposed to pull. There's nothing to indicate which either. There's no, like, clues or anything. Wow, Rainbow Trap's such a pain in the ass to catch sometimes. So yeah, you have a 1 in 6 chance of pulling the correct one. And I don't know if it's randomized or what. The game doesn't really give you any hints to this effect either. Not that it should. Because, you know... Hmm. I guess the mob boss that used to be here that I killed last time just doesn't respawn. Instead, his mooks do. Chad, I am so stoked that that actually worked. I was able to come back here, go back to the place where they usually respawn the weapons and just get all my weapons back. So stoked. Ah, oh, 
uh, Coral Hornbow, my beloved. Looks like the damage my living wood axe started to drop off because it's falling apart from being used so often. So we'll have to stick with the Beast Golem axe. Pog moment, indeed. Well, that's one adventure down, right? And so the day was saved. Must resist the temptation to go back there and start looting the shit out of the place. Let us head back home to Tristanis. Chicky Flunk! Hey, Aso! It's been so long since you last visited my stream. How are you doing? Thank you so much for the head pats. <laughs> How you doing? Ah, Tara Shield. Bird, I do not have time for your shit. I'm going to fuck your shit up. Where is my gun? Do I have any bullets? I don't have any bullets for my gun right now. Damn it. Fine. Oh, well. We have to do this the old-fashioned way. Stand still. Oh yeah, you know what's coming, don't you? Bastard. Thank you so much for the gift sub, Winter. You're solid I was on, so you're here to hang out? Well, thank you so much for coming to hang out. Yeah, these are my new hours. I now stream from 9 to midnight, Central Standard. Uh, I've been on and off. I think I've been... I've been on and off. That's a... I thought I was coming down with some with an illness last week, and I think I was, but thankfully I was able to beat it, so don't need to worry about going to an urgent care for that, I hope. Um, besides that, been feeling kind of down for one reason or another, but streaming helps, gets my mind off things. And today's stream, while a little bit on the quiet side, was fairly fun. I just had a major win here where the game was trying to punish me for being hasty and I was able to come back, kill a bunch of bandits, and get all my rare items here back that I thought I had lost forever again. Because this game can be quite mean that way sometimes. So that's a huge win. Um, I also got raided by Wushu a few minutes ago, another 24-man raid. That's the biggest raid I've ever gotten in my time as a streamer. What's funny is the last time I got raided was also 24 people, so that was really cool. Got a bunch of new followers. I noticed that for the past several sessions, every time I set a goal that I have for this particular session, I managed to complete it. And I managed to do it this time too, where I scaled a huge-ass mountain, which is very frustrating, and gained magic. And you know what? Since I got some new raider, got some more followers today, and some a few people from a huge raid, and some lurkers, I'm going to add another quest site, another uh, goal for today. Since I made good on my promise to learn magic, I'm going to go back up here to the ancient to the cabal of the wind of the uh, wind tr cabal of the wind magic people, and I'm going to learn force push. Which is not really force push, it's actually his magic spell which allows you to uh, use wind to shove people really far away. But it might as well be force push. And I've been making Jedi and Star Wars jokes the entire time that I've been streaming this game. So it's timely, finally time to continue my Jedi Knight training. But first, we're going to head back home to Serzo, dump my stuff, change my weapons, and then we'll head up north. This is the sort of game that punishes impatient people and rewards preparation. And having been cruelly reminded of what happens when you fuck around and find out in this game, 
We're gonna do just that. Welcome back, my boy. Yeah, almost 300. I actually need to think of something to do for 300 followers on Twitch. I'm getting close to 600 on Twitter also. I'll need to host another giveaway. But what to give away? I still am writing the VTuber lores for the last set of winners. So I don't think I'm going to give away that. But we'll think of something. Jedi Knight backstory. Mm -hmm. Man, I'm really missing that stamina now. I'm getting winded so quickly. Bird, if you fucking... I'm going to wreck your shit. Don't tempt me. Bitch ass. Bird ass. Bird bream. And true spirit of shitposting Twimmer more numbers than Twitch lol. Indeed. Indeed. I'm getting caught peckish. Let's eat something, chat. Eating raw meat is a great way to have an upset, upset tummy in this game. So we will not eat that. And eat some bread and jam. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. do I have any more endurance potions? I do not. I'm going to sell this when I get to town too. It sells for like 60 silver or something. I'm so glad I got my coral horn bow back. This thing is a beast. Inflicts pain on people when you shoot them. I gotta say, though, setting people on fire with a flamethrower spell, it's rather addicting. Keeps getting me killed, though. Oh, you know what? I could actually learn the warm boon now from back in Serzo. I better go do that. Since I have magic spells and stuff, that should probably help me help keep me from freezing to death outside. Which seems to be my favorite activity apparently. Another bird brain who is paying attention to their survival instincts and is avoiding me. Can you fuck off? My god. All right, let's do this. Come on. Come on. Oh, that's... What's that? What's that? Hmm? Okay. Heading back to town. Getting late, too, so I'll have to take a big nappy anyway. This is such an obnoxiously big axe. It doesn't even look like an axe from this side. Can you fuck off, please? You're not running. No. Just... Yeah. That's what I thought. I will, cons I will eat your children. I just realized something. I wonder if uh, the soul spell works on birds. Reveal soul. I guess birds do not have a soul. That explains why these bastards keep chasing after you to kill you. Only humans have souls, apparently. a good day. I don't know why, but it feels like Wednesdays are my best streaming nights. Consistently over a hundred views on the video on the VOD. There's always a group of people that are a group of regulars that come by to chill and to shitpost and to watch me fail at life. Mondays and Fridays are always on and off. I feel like Fridays are actually my worst. Eat them. Mm-hmm. 
there is always much consumption. I feel like if I really want to go down the path of the Jedi, I need to learn two hand. I need to get used to and switch to using two handed weapons more often than sword and shield weapons. But in order to use that effectively, you need to also learn how to use the counters effectively. The Warrior Monk subclass, or class that I chose, which is part of the reason I'm doing the whole Jedi Knight thing, has a lot of skills that basically make you an insta-kill machine. I just like using my shield, the shield and head hatchet sail a lot more because you can hide from it and flee. Hey Asha, how are you doing this evening? <laughs> Nice to see you too. I'm actually going a little bit over stream time because I recently got a huge raid and I'm feeling pretty good about the successes I've made this stream. So I want to, I've tacked on another quest that I'm going to do for chat. I'm not going to stay up too late though because my health has been kind of wonky the past couple weeks. I'll probably stay up another hour, two hours maximum. I remember one time I stayed up until like 3 in the morning playing this game and almost, so after that I was like, this is too much. I can't afford to do 5 hour streams. I'm sorry, not during the weekdays. Oh, thank you for the head pat. Unfortunately, I am not using my 3D avatar right now, so it's not going to show up on stream. <laughs> one hour, let's go. We could probably do this in an hour. Okay, sleep, sleep, time. Alright. It's alright. I could I can manage one more hour, maybe. Hope as long as I don't get distracted and go off on another tangent somewhere out there or get myself killed, we should be able to make it up to the monk's place to learn more to learn to continue our path to the Jedi Knight and back without too much hassle. Four hours later. Oh shit, oh, oh god, oh fuck, what happened? <laughs> Alright. My armor is really fucked up too. We're going to wear a light stuff this time. Let's put this away. Wait. As I was saying, let's let's put this stuff away, please. I will rest after this. I believe our trust me, I will actually go to sleep after I complete this one last thing for chat. Just let me arrange my inventory again. And we'll get going. I'll even... I'm not going to bring too much this time, actually. Uh, let's just bring... Let's just bring... Um, we're going to wear the Pearl Road Mask so we can run really fast. Actually, I should wear the fur... I should wear this stuff because it's cold resistant. I don't know what the hell I'm thinking. Let's put all this stuff away. We don't need our traps where we're going. Because we're not going to kill anything. Put these away. Put this away. We're going to keep the food with us. We're going to cook some of the cook these before we leave. Cook all the eggs too. Always need to bring water with us. We're going to keep. We're going to put these away as well. Don't need those. Always need to bring tea. These are for keeping us from burning to from. And I put my gun away. My precious. And put that away as well. 
and to bring the good old fang axe with me put that away up no actually you're gonna sell the this shitty tower shield don't need it anyway thank you for the head pads all right so this should make us run really 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 fast put this away put the gonna sell this really garbage no nope, gonna keep the bow in case I fail again let's uh do some cooking really fast uh, um Continue dumping stuff that I don't need. Strictly don't need. Uh, I'm gonna sell this in town. Gonna bring that just in case I get molested by something outside. Um, yeah, I think this is good. I don't, also don't want to carry all my money with me. I should dump that stuff before. I could store it away before I leave. Um, let's go into town. Sell this garbage. Turn my gold back into silver. Learn some more skills. So many chores to do. Okay. Wanted to buy something. What could I do for you? All right. All right. Where's the other thing I was going to sell? Was I gonna sell something else? Is he not buying it? Eh, whatever. Whatever. Give me all your. Sell. So... Okay. So I should have. A fuck ton of silver right now. 12, 1,209 silver, in fact. Alright. Finally, these Kazites can teach me stuff. What could I do for you? I wonder. Amber, my friend. Amber, my friend. Oh, it's not gonna, he's not gonna teach me these things unless I become a spell blade. Well, I... Uh, Amber, my friend. I guess I don't really... There's... I can't learn from him, then. That was a waste of time. Okay. Let's do a chat. We're gonna run all the way to the next section. I just need to eat a bunch of food before we leave. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hopefully, I will not be distracted too much. That would suck, right? Oh, I didn't take these things off. Alright, fine. I guess I'll just be keeping those with me, huh? Do, 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 do. Even with greatly reduced stamina, I run for a pretty long time. Okay. Crimson Shield's really fucked up right now. Get me a lighter shield, please. Like the old Legion shield.
You're good. Very good. Fifty-four point eight. Don't need to keep all these. There we go. Okay. Eat some breakfast, drink some water. And let's go. Oh, wait. Let's not be dumb. I'm not sacrifice. I'm not endangering my monies. I'm going to put those away. Put that away. Okay, put this away. Now I think this is the bare minimum, chat. I hope I don't run into any Rendigos on the way there. If I do run into any Wendigos, I'll just have to run away. Because I don't think we have time tonight to fight a Wendigo. Forty-eight hour streams? No way. Honestly, I can't uh, I've been thinking about doing my first eight hour stream sometime, but doing five hours alone burns me out so fast. Eggs are good for you. Yeah, I understand that either. You almost died after your 8-hour stream? Literally or metaphorically? Or both? Rip. Gonna give you a head pat. Alright, chat. Here we go. Go from here. Through here. To over here. Give Asu all the head pets. <laughs> all the head pets. I must do my best to not be distracted by the likes of bandits or hyenas or anything else that might look like it has contains precious loot. It's getting pretty late in the real world. I need to get this next qu next uh, thing done literally sprinting to our destination you're a dog you deserve them that's very true aso deserves all the head pats i like how your character gradually gets winded if they use sprinting for way too long in game What a trooper. Here's where we are right now, chat. We're actually making pretty good time. I wonder how many more places I still have to explore in this area. Note to self, I still need to learn the boom, boon of warmth. So I don't freeze to death so easily. Do 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 do. Let's 
interesting now. So we are probably over here. We need to go this way. Through the fortress. I really hope I don't need to find any ghosts right now. Because I did not bring any magic spells with me. Oh, fuck. Check it out. Oh, wait. It's just a mantis. It's just a lightning mantis. Those things are fairly easy to kill. But only a single 12 minute break. Insane. Flex. I'm guessing you survived that such an ordeal as well. Oh, balls. Well, that's just prime. So it would appear that the ghost did in fact respawn. I could probably just run past them though. In fact, that's exactly what I'll do. Sayonara, sucker! Oh god. Run past you too. I literally did not bring any of my magic spells with me. I cannot kill these things very easily right now. Luckily, I won't need to. Yeah, my fundraiser stream was 36 hours and only a single 12-minute food break was so good. Can't wait to do it again. Can't wait to do a 6 hour stream. You are crazy, Femboy. I do not have the processing power for a 60-hour stream. <laughs> We made a chat. We're on the other side of the fort. Unfortunately, knowing my luck, the enemies that live on this side of the fort are probably also respawned. So if I'm not careful, I'm going to get my ass ganked again. Leave me alone, lightning mantis person. They ain't shit anyway. Ah, uh, more mantis shrimp. Well, still, I'd rather fight the shrimp than the uh, horrors that lurk over there. Literal horrors. I pre-inviting you as a guest for the 60 hour stream? Aw, thanks. I'll be sure to show up. For at least some of it, anyway. I already talked to this uh, wind tower over here, right? Hey, Pesel, how you doing? Okay. So which one of these do they live in again? It's probably this one. This is the only one that's not fucked up. Twenty viewers, based. Yeah, I got a twenty-four person raid earlier. Pastel, it was it was legit. <laughs> Feels good, man. Thanks to redeem, even though it doesn't work since I'm not using my three D avatar. I'll have to pop the three D avatar on after the stream to say hello to people while we look for someone to raid. Excellent. A visitor, the Cabal shares its wisdom with those who respect the five winds, reason, passion, fury, kindness, and the inside. After though, you get good sleepies. Oh, for sure. We're not raiding just yet now. After or I do Listen this. Listen to me. To use the spells I teach, find the wind totems in every region. Then you may use these spells in that region. The totems are taught by a bird statue. You'll recognize them. Here it is. Check this shit out. Mana Push. A spell which inflicts no damage but has high impact in a wide area in front of the caster. Can be combined with other spells for powerful effects. So yeah, this is pretty obviously Force Push, right? 
And look, I brought all of my silver, which means I can learn everything that he's got going on. Oh, and I can also unlock weather tolerance, which will make me freezing and freezing to death and or burning to death a lot slower. Thank you for the hydrates and the posture check. Let me do that real quick. Let's see now. Infused wind. Increases the impact and attack speed of your melee weapon for three minutes. Sigil of the wind. Create a magic circle on the ground. Certain skills have additional effects when cast within this circle. And conjure. I wonder what conjure does, actually. Should I become a cabal a cabal shaman? I probably should. At the same time, or maybe I can avoid using this now because you only have two of these per game. And I can instead spend that on hunter skills or Let's actually try this spell out, shall we? Is that seriously all it does? Lame. Well, I should find an enemy to try it out on, but the problem is that could be bad. What's this do? Oh, it gave me a boon? What's the boon? Did, what boon did it give me? It gave me rage. Huh, that's beautiful. Alright. What else did I learn? What else did I learn? Uh, no RR, no purr, no boy girl, no good boy girl redeems, bruh. <laughs> I was thinking of a thing, something to replace the meme redeem with. I could replace it with an RR. How can I develop a proper pseudo relationship and be a fully fledged shrimp without you taking, talking weird to you and making sounds on command? Without you talking weird to me and making sounds come in, I have no idea. We'll have to find more creative ways to do that, won't we? <laughs> so, Excellent. Listen to me. I'm not entirely sure if I want to spend my next thing, Majig, on becoming a shaman because. I don't know. I like this though. I like the fact that it increases the impact and makes you move a lot fucking faster. Like stupidly fast. But I don't know what Conjura does. Actually, you know what? This probably combines with the Reveal Soul. And you probably use this to enslave people to your will. Which is metal as fuck. I don't I don't know if that's actually what it does though. I'm just assuming because this game likes to not tell you what things do. Eh. We're in no rush. I came here and I got exactly what I want to got exactly what I was looking for, which is the mana push. I'm hoping it knocks over people. Hey, Tearwolf, how you doing? God, you guys are trying to drown me or something? Okay. I'm going to have to refund a lot of redeems after this stream because y'all keep... Re because all these things... Oh, God damn it, Vimboy.
All right. All right. Okay. 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 I have water. I have water leaking out of my liquid cool out of my liquid liquid cooling system. It's splashing all over my memory. Become moist to send to plant. I'm already part plant. Whoa! Wait, what's all this shit doing here? Free stuff. And I'm gonna sell this back in town for 60 silvers. You can sell this too. How are you? How are you? Oh, no fucking way. I could just sell it back to sh <laughs> oh, I love it. All right. Ready to go, Alexis Khan. Don't need to buy any of these clothes. Plant, plant, plant. Kind of off today, been venting. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I too have been having a strange, kind of a messy week. But this has been, once again, a great day. It feels like Wednesdays are always my best streaming days. <laughs> Alright, chat. Time to run all the way back home. Preferably without being gangbanged. By every NPC in the game. No, why am I getting cold? Oh, I'm not getting cold. I'm just going back to back to normalcy, I guess. What else did I buy in this game? A buy over there from the. Uh... What else did he teach me? He taught me um some passive skills, right? Uh, let's see. He taught me weather tolerance. Okay. To do. Okay. Fitness, steady arm, increase in pack resistance by ten when you are blocking. Weather tolerance, hunter's eye, and master of motion. Okay. Wednesday is by far your worst? Oh dear. So we're like polar opposites. Fridays are my worst. So far. Almost no one shows up on Friday. Even Saturday morning for me is better. Probably because that's when all the Asians and Europeans are actually awake. Or... Yeah, or mostly awake anyway. It's evening there. For right now, it's in the afternoon for the southeast for the Asians, the Southeast Asians. But it's actually uh, twelve forty three my time. Mm hmm. Afternoon in uh, the Philippines and other Southeast Asian nations. Oh man, I'm out of stamina already. Eat food. Num 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 um num 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 um num 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 Kaka Working with lulls in the background pog 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 I got raided twice today, I forgot. Tamaris actually raided me near the beginning of the stream, which was really pog. Sup? Oh shit, I can't see. Haha. -ha. Alright, now's the final stretch chat. We're running all the way home to Shurzo. All by my...
this? I'm kidding. Let's just not get ganked by any Wendigos or bandits or automatons or horrors or any other bullshit that lives out here in this frigid wasteland. And I will do my best to fight off distractions because God forbid I am easily distracted in this game. Nerd what days and all's well as ends well. Nai. Nai into chest. Give me chest. Hey, a power coil. Cool. I actually needed that for the quest back in town. This day just gets better and better. Knock on wood. <laughs> Those of you who stuck around after Rouge's raid... Thank you once again for sticking around. I hope that I was able to entertain you tonight. If you'll like what you see and you would like to join me for more misadventures Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday, feel free to leave a follow. This Friday, we'll be continuing our trip down Deus Ex Human Revolution. I am playing through the entire Deus Ex series chronologically, which means Human Revolution first, Mankind Divided, and then the original Deus Ex, and then lastly, Invisible War. I stream from 9 p.m. Central Standard Time to 12 midnight Central Standard Time, or I'm supposed to. Sometimes I go overboard, like right now. I'm a variety VTuber, I play a lot of things. Every now and then I'll join a fighting game tournament in the VTuber fighting game community. Those are usually held on Fridays, so... I will end up switching whatever I have on that Friday for that. I used to do virtual reality games on Friday, but um, I've been avoiding those as of late for personal reasons. But I will get back to those eventually, especially since a lot of other VTubers are starting to create 3D avatars and I want to hang out with them. On Monday, I started playing uh, Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion, but last this previous Monday, I actually completed 600 rooms of that and I'm, my understanding is that Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion has a thousand rooms. So I figured that's going to be over by next Monday. But I saw that there are other uh, other maps in there that you can play afterwards. So I'll probably complete all of them. And then after that's done, who knows what we'll do on Monday. We'll find something to do. Maybe some dark wood? Who knows. And to think, I, was, I thought today was going to end on a bad note. Get this water purifier fix, shall we? I wonder who sabotaged it anyway. What? This can you lend me a hand? Oh, I need two of them. Yeah. Fine. Guess we better stick this in the inventory and call it a night. I know where to find a second one, but it's in Levant, the desert area. That's another adventure. Getting there is another adventure in itself. Which is why we're not doing it tonight, unless you want to unless I want to be staying up until two or three in the morning again playing this game. <laughs> Which I'm kinda tempted to do, but like half a dozen people in chat just now told me to go to sleep, so I will honor their wishes. And... Mm 
<laughs> do to do, do. Ah! Wrong button. Thank you for the head pants. What time is it in game? It's only three in the afternoon. Okay. And for those of you who have not seen what my full avatar looks like, let me go ahead and put on my face or put or show that to you. I do have leap motion trackers as well. I'm not going, but currently my uh, tracking device for that is, but the um, holder or the clip I have for that is busted. So I'm not going to bother uh, putting that on right now. <laughs> but I just thought I would show you my true form. This is what I really look like. But the P I've got to say though, having a PNG is very useful when shit hit the fan. And Unity is a really janky program. That's part of the reason why I use it when I play Outward on Wednesdays. I did not used to use it at one point. I actually used to go ahead and just use my real avatar with Outward. The problem is that running BC Face and also VTuber Plus, and also Outward is a no-go. It just slows down to such an extent that it's Im almost impossible. But you will see me using this again on Friday. Deus Ex Human Revolution is old enough, and also does not is not built on Unity. So it works just fine there. <laughs> Let us go find someone to raid. What victims do we have this evening? Oh, Sorry, baby, I'm coming. Right. Uh, has anyone noticed that for past a certain point, this uh, follow channels list does not show the accurate number of people that you're actually following? There have been a few times where I've actually missed people who were streaming because they didn't show up on the thing, and that kind of annoys the shit out of me. Thank you, Aso. Thank you for coming by. I really appreciate that. It's been a long time. Um, you can feel free to, if you want to head out, uh, be my guest. Otherwise, feel free to stick around for the raid and get to yourself some more channel points to spend throwing stuff at my face. <laughs> it's just, I'm not sure who to raid tonight. There's a lot of choices. A lot of choices. A lot of my fighting game mutuals and, and people I follow are playing DNF Duel right now. Someone's doing art. Best Dad's doing more ASMR. Aerosleth has recently come back to streaming. She's playing Genshin Impact. Jackal VT, Pokemon Breeder, is playing Path of Exile. Dr. Siri, Dude Guy Joey is playing DNFD Duel. Neko is playing Overwatch. And Jake is playing Wasteland 3. Let's refresh just to make sure that we got everyone Ooh, here. Okay, I won't. Can you not autoplay, please? Thanks. Who to send chat to? I don't know who to surprise tonight. Hmm. I guess any of these would be a good per a good person to surprise, huh? Let me just check through here to make sure that other people are not streaming right now. They're just not showing up on my list. And we will go ahead and go ahead. Stream cord. Tetsuo. 
Tetsuo is not streaming right now, is he? Let's make sure. Hmm. No, he's not. He just must be messing around, I guess. What are you playing, Ray Rico? Mm -hmm. This is interesting. I've never seen this game before. Ray Rika is a relatively new VTuber, I believe. You mostly play a variety of game or a variety of games. And they're also a musician, apparently. And they also use a PNG tuber as well. What do you think, chat? See a new one here in my friends list that you then my uh, followers list that you think I should surprise tonight? Perhaps one of the perhaps someone perhaps a flesh tuber instead? Or is there anyone that you would like to suggest before we go ahead and head out? This one actually looks so this game actually looks fairly entertaining to be honest. Oh. That was pretty meh. Sadly. Holo coins. Is he playing some kind of holo uh, cure? Okay, bye. Yes, finally. This is interesting. I thought holo cure was like a brand new um, generation of holo life. I didn't realize it was actually a game. Confused version while Biru counting this with all attack and You can suggest one a very cute mermaid playing raft? Let's see what they're up to, or what's their handle? Holo Cure is like vampire survivors, huh? Okay, I see the resemblance now. I think I saw. Some gifs of this on Imager or something. Yeah, I like her auto. It looks like a full game though. Swimming Link? They sound familiar. Have you raided them before? Gravity, I think you could have got this in a blast of wheels. Oh my. Uber Eats. I actually don't like this commercial and maybe it's because I've seen it way too many times oh to a point where I'm just kind of annoyed by it now. Like, I get that it's supposed to be a joke that, oh, hey, eating scotch tape or eating toothpaste is bad for you, but it's also like, there are some people, there's a reason why they have warning labels on those things. Some people really do eat toothpaste. Yeah. They got a pre-roll ads playing, unfortunately, and so on her channel, it looks like. Actually, it looks like she's collabing with uh, three other people, too, tonight. English only virtual streamer that suffers from memory loss, but tries their best to please everyone. Mostly streams Genshin and Paladins. I almost never see anyone play Paladins anymore. Yeah. Um... I don't have pre-roll ads anymore, I don't think. I set it up so they play 1 minute, 30 second ads every half hour. Which kills pre-roll ads, but now they play on a set period, which is every half hour. Orbit. Cherry clouds also. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Oh, there actually is four then. Nice. In the cipher. I'm confident. Besides, if I'm lucky, she has a heal on her passive, so that'll be fine. Hmm. One second, chat. Can I check something really quick? All attack damage also increased by. That's cool. Ah. Uh. Ah. Ray Rika has been streaming around the same time that I have been. But they barely have a fraction of the... Oh. I think I'm going to do a rain... I think I'm going to have a rain check on Cherry and... On Cherry and Swimming for right now. Just because... This VTuber looks like they could use a little bit of a boost in visibility. And I do like give pay, paying it forward. <clears throat> We're going to go ahead and raid Ray Rika tonight. He only has one follower, or one viewer right now, so this should be a nice shock to the system. Oh, her attack speed got increased. <laughs> For those of you new to my channel, I do like to use Lul's raid as my, um, as my uh, raid message. If you are subscribed, feel free to use one of our local emojis here. Otherwise, feel free to use the emoji of your... No, I'm saying emoji of your choice. Once again, thank you so much for coming to today's stream and for sticking around after Rushu dropped you off. And I hope to see you all next time. Take a little bit to copy that and we'll get going. Get ready for the big drop in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have liftoff. Time. Thank you for the follow. I mean, not follow, raid. <laughs> Hello, thank you for the raid. Welcome. I am destroying LAQ. Lulz raid. Thank you, Lulz. I 